Break characters allow you to break up your text under special conditions. The most common break character is your simple return key. Doing that adds a little paragraph mark, which then adds another line or paragraph to whatever text you're working on. However, there are some other special break characters. Check out how I've set up my document. At the top, I've got a text frame that's threaded to a smaller text frame, and that one is threaded to a text frame that's on another page. So let's add some special page breaks or character breaks to my text. What I want to do is I want to have this list of text to be inside of this particular frame. To do this, I'm going to place my character or my insertion point right at the beginning of that mark. Then I'm going to go to Type and down to Insert Break Character. And these are the different types of breaks that we can add. Since I want to break it from one frame into another frame, I'll add a frame break. Doing this adds this special character, and now all of my text from that point is inside of the next frame that it's threaded to. Even if I adjust the size of this text frame, it won't affect the placement or the starting point of this text frame. I can also format all of the text that's up here, and it won't affect the text that's down below for it. Additionally, another common uh, type of break you can add is a page break. Let's put our insertion point at the beginning of this paragraph. We'll go to Type, down to Break Character, and we'll insert a page break. This will allow me to place my text from that point onto the next page, and it's another common one. So no matter what I do to this text frame, it'll always go to the next page based on wherever it's at. I can move this text frame around, I can format this text, and it'll always stay within this particular frame, and this text will always be on the next page that I'm working with. Another common type of break is a uh, column break. Let's say I highlighted this text, and we'll add another column to it. In this case, it's two different columns. Let's say I wanted this paragraph to appear at the top of this particular column frame. With my insertion point at the top, I'm going to go to Type, down to Break Character, and we're going to do a column break. This will then put my text from this column onto this column to work with. No matter what size I have the text box, it'll always be within that particular column in there. 